My first day as an international student in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Walking down the corridor at university, I see one of the staff members who, say, who says, hi, how are you? I reply, very tired, I didn't have a good sleep, and you? Her expression changes, and she replies, fine, thanks. <laughs> I can read, oversharing, I was just being polite. I was grammatically correct, but speaking a language properly is not enough. My teachers told me all about grammar, vocabulary, and use of greetings, but didn't help me understand that culture is embedded in language. This is integral because learning languages is a great way to learn to respect cultures that are different to your own. However, this doesn't develop naturally, as we can see in the discrimination towards people who are different. Educational authorities around the world have been developing teaching approaches for educators to create empathetic human beings. In 2010, in Aotearoa, New Zealand, the Ministry of Education published a report on interculturality to help teachers help students communicate respectfully with people with different languages and cultures. Something particularly relevant here in Aotearoa, New Zealand because of its multicultural nature. This is challenging because teachers may not be intercultural or may not have any intercultural training. My study investigated whether and how language teachers were dealing with interculturality in the classrooms. I interviewed and observed 16 secondary school teachers of Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, and French. I contributed to my field by examining the role of teachers' proficiency in the language taught regarding interculturality because previous research didn't focus on that. Neither being a native speaker nor having higher or lower proficiency ensured teachers' intercultural practices. This resonates with the idea that native speakers are not inherently better teachers. Across all levels of proficiency, teachers demonstrated an implicit potential to help students understand that speaking a language properly is not enough. However, most teachers didn't have in intercultural training that is what seems to be needed for teachers to fulfill the potential. Why is my study important? Because discrimination is a constant in our world. Interculturality is a means of generating respectful diversity and language teaching presents a perfect scenario because diversity is inherent. When it comes to interculturality, as my study has demonstrated, what matters is teachers' intercultural potential rather than their proficiency. So, after this, just there at the corridor, if we bump into each other and I ask, hey, how are you? What would you say? <laughs> Thank you.